Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today, a landscape in the start of uh, fall. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Proverbs 19 verse 19. It says, hot-tempered people must pay the penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. Here's my essay. Result of enabling. Do you have someone who never stops asking for help? They run to you always and never rely on their own selves. When a person continually rescues another, they end up being con constantly bothered. If you continue to enable someone who isn't responsible, you will be headed for futility and your life will crumble. Do not interrupt the law of responsibility. It is an insult and defiance to God the Almighty. Here's my essay. I was an enabler to my only child for almost 26 years. I came uh, from a culture where families are closely knit and there is not much room for setting boundaries. Children depend on their parents when they are young, but where I come from, even adult children in their 20s or even older still stay with their parents. I have a brother in his 50s who still live with my parents. Sometimes the parents even expect their adult children to care for them even if these children have their own families to take care of. It was such a culture of enmeshment where boundaries were never clear and spoken. As a result, we lived very chaotic lives. The Bible clearly warns us not to tamper with the law of responsibility. When we do, we are interrupting God's plans. Prayer. Lord, show me how to give up and let go. Reflection. What do you think are the consequences of enabling someone irresponsible? Well, <laughs> to answer that, I guess uh, clearly the result is that I have um, raised a codependent, meaning I have not equip this uh, this child of mine to be able to survive in this world where he has to rely on God and rely on himself and not on other people for for things that um, that he need to live with so that's one of the um, consequences of uh, enabling somebody is like the one who's enabling is constantly bugged and, and never has a peace of mind because every time they see, like they worry a lot and um, as a consequence of worrying a lot, they become anxious and um, they become stressed out. On the other hand, the one who's being helped will never grow up. They will never be responsible. They will not take responsibility for, for their actions or they will not be able to um, be functional in society because all they'll be doing is to find somebody to to um, rescue them. So I think that enabling is really um, a very, very uh, important aspect of our lives that if we are enablers, we have to stop it because we're actually um, interrupting what God is planning for this person. Sometimes God allows us to go through a lot of uh, mistakes or go through a lot of difficulties so that we will learn and we, we will build, he is building our character. So if we, if somebody is stopping what God's plan is to push through, then we are actually um, questioning God's um, omniscience and omnipotence because he's the only one who knows. So thanks for watching and I hope that you will stop enabling anybody if you are and if you are an irresponsible person I hope that you will start 
uh, owning up to your responsibility and um, taking action so that your life will be a better life. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarsat.com. Have a blessed night.